Well, I got some news for you. It is not good. I'll tell you what I think about it after this word. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to the show. So, they had the news conference of that shooting in uh, Minnesota. They showed a da they showed the police body cam. They showed the I saw the whole thing and I have questions. I had Chris I had questions for the parents of that man, that boy that had a warrant out for his arrest. I have questions and y'all saw it. It was like a regular routine stop. Regular routine stop. Two police officers go to the car, ask for the driver's license, and then they go back to the cruiser. Find out that he had a warrant out for arrest. They go back. They tend to arrest him, and guess what happened? He resisted arrest. Once again, resisted arrest. And why did he resist arrest? Because he knew that he had a warrant out for his arrest. And he got shot. All these people that are getting shot and getting hurt and getting killed are resisting arrest. <laughs> and oh and this is the another thing here a the police officer who shot him is a woman we don't know if she's white we don't know if she's black but I don't want to talk about that I want to talk about these parents and not making the kids the difference between right and wrong. So this knucklehead, and I call him a knucklehead for two reasons. He's a gangbanger. And he has a warrant out for arrest. And he resists his arrest. Resists arrest and try to get away. Why did you want to do that? Maybe because he didn't want to go to jail. That's his fault. Now, many times I got pulled over on my bike by police officers. Well, I didn't do any explaining wrong. I all listened to his commands. I show him my ID. I told where I was going. He didn't let me go. You know why? Because I didn't do anything wrong. Now, these people are going to protest and riot team. Need to go to jail. They need to go to jail. And. Another one. But this one. It's going to be very interesting. Y'all stay tuned. I got to go.